Hi folks, I'm Donnie with GiantVeggies.com. This is part two of the squash vine borer. If you've seen part one, you saw what these little rascals have done to my hope to be prized pumpkin plants that I've been babying for a month. I was I uh, came out here this morning, and if you saw the video of part one, you seen what the plant looked like and what kind of destruction it did to the plant. I, uh, I came out here immediately after, cut open the stem, removed the, the worm, uh, and if you can zoom in, I'll, I'll show you what I did to try and save this plant. They're very, very difficult to save, but I can show you uh, what I've done in future videos of this particular plant of how to actually save a plant that everybody says is almost impossible to do. So if you'll zoom in, what I've done, if you saw part one, you saw that I took this plant and cut it completely open, removed the worms, and I took the stem, wrapped it, wrapped it in foil. Before I did that, in the slit of the stem, I put some Monster Garden sauce with the, the high nutrient level, uh, the concentrate. I didn't water it down. So, and I wrapped it with foil, put uh, some compost dirt on the top of it, and if you can zoom out a little bit, you can see from part one of what you saw on part one, how bad these leaves was, was badly wilted and dying. Uh, it, it, appears, it appears this plant is, is going to make it. From what I'm seeing, it's actually starting to come back to life a little bit. And uh, if you tune in to the squash, borer, squash vine borer part three of this pumpkin plant, uh, we'll see if that holds true. I uh, hope you tune in to part three. Thanks for watching uh, this episode of GiantVeggies.com.